Ma'asim Acts 22. Men, brethren, and fathers, hear ye my defense, which I make now unto you. And when they heard that he spoke the Ivrit tongue to them, they kept the more silence, and he said, I am truly a man, although a Yahudi born in Tarsus, a city in Cilicia, yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamil-el, rather Gamli-el, and taught according to the perfect manner of the ancestral laws, and was zealous toward Yah, as ye are all this day. And I persecuted this way unto the death, binding and delivering into prisons both men and women, as also the high priest bears me witness, and all the estate of the elders, from whom also I received Sepharim unto the brethren, and went to Damascus to bring them which were there bound unto Yerushalayim for to be punished. And it came to pass that as I made my journey and was come nigh unto Damascus about noon, suddenly there shone from heaven a great light round about me, and I fell unto the ground, and heard a voice saying unto me, Paal, Paal, why do you persecute me? And I answered, Who are you, Adonai? And he said unto me, I am Yahusha, the Netzari, whom you persecute. And they that were with me saw indeed the light, and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him that spoke to me. And I said, What shall I do, Adonai? And Adonai said unto me, Arise and go into Damascus, and there it shall be told you of all things which are appointed for you to do. And when I could not see for the glory of that light, being led by the hand of them that were with me, I came into Damascus. And one Hanan Ya'u, a devout man according to the Torah, having a good report of all the Ya'udim which dwelt there, came unto me and stood and said unto me, Brother Pa'al, receive your sight. And the same hour I looked up upon him, and he said, Yahua of our fathers has chosen you, that you should know his will, and see that just one, and should hear the voice of his mouth. For you shall be his witness unto all men of what you have seen and heard. And now why do you tarry? Arise and be immersed, and wash away your sins, calling on the name of Yahuwah. And it came to pass that when I was come again to El Yerushalayim, even while I prayed in the temple, I was in a trance, and saw him saying unto me, Make haste and get quickly out of Yerushalayim, for they will not receive your testimony concerning me. And I said, Adonai, they know that I eth imprisoned and beat in every synagogue them eth that believed on you. And when the blood of your martyr Stephen was shed, I also was standing by and consenting unto his death and kept the raiment of them that slew him. And he said unto me, Depart, for I will send you far hence unto the other nations. And they gave him audience unto this word, and then lifted up their voices and said, Away with such a fellow from the earth, for it is not fit that he should live. And as they cried out and cast off their clothes and threw dust into the air, the chief captain commanded him to be brought into the castle and bade that he should be examined by scourging, that he might know wherefore they cried so against him. And as they bound him with thongs, Paul said unto the centurion that stood by, Is it lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Romei and uncondemned? When the centurion heard that, he went and told the chief captain, and saying, Take heed what you do, for this man is a Romei. Then the chief captain came and said unto him, Tell me, are you a Romei? He said, Yea, and the, cap, rather, and the chief captain answered, With a great sum obtained I this freedom. And Paul said, 
but I was born free. Rather, but I was free born. Then straightway they departed from him, which should have examined him, and the chief captain also was afraid. After he knew that he was a Romei, and because he had bound him, on the morrow, because he would have known the certainty wherefore he was accused of the Yaudim, he loosed him from his bands, and commanded the chief priests and all their council to appear, and brought Paul down and set him before them.